WB 4699 uh, was released in 2019. Uh, this variety is particularly well adapted to the central and eastern plains. Uh, it does much better in the higher rainfall areas because uh, it doesn't have an extremely large head. It's a very high tillering variety, so yields tend to come from the number of heads produced. And uh, may I say that it really produces a lot of heads. Uh, it's a short statured variety. It's kind of a later medium type variety. Uh, it has good leaf health to it. Now, in 2021, we have it apparently have a new strain of stripe rust, and it has become somewhat susceptible uh, to uh, the new strain of stripe rust, but I would say that it's more of an intermediate to moderately susceptible line uh, to this new strain of stripe rust. It is, again, short in stature. It stands very well. Uh, it has that excellent, excellent yield potential. It has the best fusarium head blight tolerance, I think, of any hard red winter that's adapted to the central plain. It really has good head scab tolerance. Uh, the only thing that's really a detractant to this variety uh, is the uh, protein and test weight. They are pretty average to slightly below average. So uh, uh, that's one thing you need to keep in mind as you manage this variety. Uh, it's about disease resistance, it's about standability, and it's about extremely high yield with this variety. This is one, if you're in the central and eastern part of the Great Plains, you really need to take a look at. Uh, the last couple of years, it has won many, many of the tests, particularly in the east, and has uh, performed extremely well in the uh, nor in the central part as well but this excellent selection if you're in areas particularly that have high rainfall